Hi guys, welcome to I Hate Math Group. Today I'm gonna show you how to build an amortization table in Excel from scratch. So let's do it. So I have the amount borrow, which in this case is gonna be a hundred thousand dollars. The periods are gonna be the following. Well, let's say that this is 30 years but I wanna do this monthly. So I'm gonna multiply this by 12 because you have 360 periods. The rate is gonna be, let's say that they charge me 13%, but I'm gonna put it uh, monthly. So this is 0.13 divided by 12. And finally, I'm gonna have the payment, which is gonna be the following, equals PMT parentheses, and then Excel is gonna ask me, hey, what is the rate? Well, the rate is gonna be this guy, comma, the period is gonna be 360, and the present value is 100,000. Put a negative in the front because if not, Excel will give you a negative value as your payment, comma, zero, because that's the future value, and then just close your parentheses. This is gonna be your payment. Let's do it. Now your month is number one. The beginning balance is actually gonna be $100,000. So I, I can go ahead and just type it. The payment is gonna be this guy right here. Now, how do I calculate the interest? The interest is calculated in the following way. You do equals the beginning balance times the rate. This is how much you're gonna be paying on interest every month. But remember, this amount is gonna change all the time. How do I do the principal? Well, this is how much you make on your payment minus the interest that you pay. That's gonna be your principal and your ending balance is gonna be the beginning balance minus what you pay on your principal. Now let's do month two. The beginning balance is actually gonna be the ending balance of the first month. The payment is actually going to be the same, but you know what? This becomes very tedious to write it over and over. So I'm going to go ahead and do the following equals and then click on C4, but actually you can lock this cell by doing a dollar sign, letter, dollar sign. This is basically going to block the cell and it's going to repeat it all the way to the 360 periods. Well, the interest, remember, is gonna be the beginning, which is in this case this, but my rate will always be the same. Well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and lock the rate. Again, I do dollar sign, and then dollar sign between the letters. Because look, in Excel, B7, B8, that's gonna change, but the interest, is so the rate is always gonna be the same. Now the principal, again, how do I calculate it? My payment minus my interest, and the ending balance is finally gonna be the beginning balance minus the principal. Once you build the second uh, row, go ahead and shade it and go all the way down to 360. 360, and you can see on the right side I have the numbers all the way to 360, I'm almost done, I pass it. 360, voila, I just built my amortization table. As you can see here, the principal, look what's happening, it's actually going up and the interest is actually going down. Little by little, I can see that my ending balance is going all the way, oops, I passed it to zero. Now, how do I know this table is correct? Well, look what I'm gonna do. Here, this is how much you pay for your principal. If you do the sum of all the payments that you made, all the way to one, you should get the $100,000, which I did. And then if you wanna figure it out, the interest pay all over the loan, just, just do the sum of all the interest payments and don't cry at the end of the table because it's usually a lot but you know that's how time value works so this is basically how much money you pay during the loan and this is how much you repay back and that's it how easy was that please don't forget to watch our other videos also remember you can skype with us and also thanks so much for learning